Well, Gabby, the needs of students in both Carolinas are very similar, but the approaches are different, so we took a closer look at both of the initiatives. The state of South Carolina will be investing $1.3 million to expand data casting at SCETV. South Carolina's Governor Henry McMaster announced that, in partnership with the state's education department, a temporary fix for around 5,000 students in 34 school districts who don't have internet access. Some of the funding is from the CARES Act, and $15 million is from the Return to Learn grant. This investment today will help ensure that our students will live without, who live without access to broadband will be able to keep up and access key educational content and lessons plans. North Carolina's Governor Roy Cooper also announced an initiative to get high-speed internet to students. Governor Cooper says around 100,000 students don't have reliable internet connection at home. He says the new investment, NC Student Connect, will spend $30 million for 100,000 wireless hotspots for students. $8 million will be spent on securing safe sites like parking lots and museums where students can go to access high-speed internet. And $2 million will be spent on teacher and parent training to help with remote learning. And just before this broadcast, I was actually on the phone with the superintendent of Transylvania County Schools in North Carolina. He says at this time, he believes that the district will be getting some funding. He just doesn't know how much right now. He says broadband is the bigger issue. This funding is just a small step. Yeah, however, he is very, very appreciative for anything coming the school district's way. And I'm also in communication with Buncombe County School District. They're not sure at this time if or how much funding they may be getting. They tell me they're hoping to receive some to benefit the students and teachers in the community. Live in Greenville, Renee Wonderlich, WYFF News 4.